All right, I'm excited to introduce my father, Mr. Brian Askins. Give him a hand while he says hello. Welcome. Hey, it's good to be here. Hope everyone's doing really well today. Appreciate you being here as well. Okay. Um, this dude has been in the insurance industry, right? Um, 31 years, 30 days ago, 29 days ago. Yep. Right? April 1st, 1990. You've learned a thing or two since then. A couple of things. Absolutely. And how often do you keep learning, by the way? Every single day. Yeah. Absolutely every day. I want him to share some of the things because because I want him to talk about the actual enrollment piece of sales okay. of, of, of the phone. A lot of people are, 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 are I've been training a lot on getting people on the phone. Right. And some of the initial stuff. Who would like for him to talk about how to actually enroll people over the phone and get them to move forward when you're already on the phone with someone, something he does really, really well. Now he, he gets a lot of referrals. Okay. So full disclosure, he's not like calling a ton of people that don't know who he is. When you've been in business this long, he has people like saying, uh, Mr. Askins, can, can you please uh, sign me up, sir? <laughs> that doesn't suck, does it? Yeah, pretty close to that, but yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> Maybe not to that yeah, extent, yeah. but I'm exaggerating a little. Um, however, everybody wants to get to that point, right? Um, what, what are some of the things that, that have worked well for you and some of the things you want to talk through when it comes to enrolling people via the phone? Well, one of the great things is the uh, carriers had already been headed in a big time direction and the online enrollments. Yes. And uh, since COVID has happened, you know, there a lot of carriers are moving even faster. Uh, and getting yeah. even more products and more services enrolled. Uh, I do a lot of fully underwritten life insurance, uh, traditional life insurance. Uh, and uh, with, what I mean by that is like term, uh, term life express, uh, the uh, guaranteed universal life, accumulation ULs, mm. index ULs, whether it be, uh, you know, all the different life products. Uh, and what I really, really loved and I've just, I've absolutely fallen in love with uh, over the last few years is I get, like you mentioned, I get a ton of referrals. Yeah. So individuals will call me and, and we'll talk about life insurance and we'll, we'll always set up a time and I'll, I'll spend at least 30 to 40 minutes on the phone with them. Cause it's a lot of these referrals are uh, remote. You know, they're not like in the same city as me and, and sometimes not even in the same state as I am. And uh, so we'll talk about life insurance, talk about what they currently have. And I always want to find out, you know, obviously exactly what they have, because I want to know what I'm competing against. I, obviously, I'm talking a lot, a lot about their health, their, uh, their medical conditions, what medications they take, because when I give a quote, I want to be an, a very, very accurate quote. Yes. Uh, and then I'm talking about, you know, how much do they own their home and, and just all the basics of, of life insurance. And then at the end, I'm always asking them a couple of questions. I'm always asking them the question of, you know, how much life insurance are you? do you think that you might need? And I'm kind of wanting to see their answer. And, and, and uh, a lot of times they'll say, you know, 500,000, a million, it's kind of the two numbers that I hear most often. Uh, and so what I'll always do is, and so, so let's just, I'm gonna use a quick example. Let's just say that they're looking for a term life quote. What I'm gonna do on that is I'm going to, I'm gonna get all the information and I'm gonna send them an email with uh, the term life quotes. And I'm gonna always choose 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 year terms. And then if they said they wanted 500,000, I'm gonna show them 500,000, 750 and a million. Cause I'm always gonna show them one and two levels above what they ever even asked for. Yeah. And then if they said, I want a 10 year term, I'm gonna show the 10, but I'm also gonna show the 15, the 20, the 25 and 30 year term. So I'm gonna show them all. And it's all on one little spreadsheet. And uh, these quotes could be ran within less than two minutes, you know, how, how quick they are. And then I'm gonna email them to them, set up a time to talk to them again. And on the second phone call, uh, we're going to do an enrollment. Mm. And uh, about 90% of them end up in, in enrollments. Uh, and so the great thing, and I absolutely love this part is, uh, and this kind of goes along with what, you know, kind of what you just mentioned, is uh, when I click on, uh, after I run the quote on the quote engine, I'm, I'm clicking, you know, enroll, uh, the enrollment button. It typically gives me three options. It gives me an option for paper application, which I don't want to do. It gives me an, uh, an option for uh, an e-app, which uh, I enjoy doing e-apps. And uh, e-apps is uh, basically to where I'm going to ask all the health questions. So that way they don't get the phone call. And then the third one is a drop ticket. A drop ticket to where I can be done with the application in just two or three minutes. And uh, just really less, little, literally less than five minutes. And I can be done with the application. And uh, that client is then going to get a phone call from the carrier to ask all the health questions 
then the, cl the client's going to get a phone call uh, to ask all of, uh, or, or to set up the pyramid if a pyramid's needed. Uh, but what I kind of love about, you know, a lot of the carriers nowadays, uh, probably 80% of them now have accelerated underwriting to where if a client qualifies, there's no medical examination. And these are on preferred plus ratings, preferred ratings, standard plus, standard, you know, uh, those type ratings. And uh, so, and it can be for, you know, a million, about every carrier now does a million dollars and some carriers go above that, but million dollars is really, really typical now. Uh, and to where you can do the, so I write probably at least five or six cases, at least every single week of life insurance mm -hmm. to where I don't even see the client and uh, to where it's all done over the phone, done virtually. Uh, and then uh, some of the carriers, you send them the link for their electronic signature. Some of the carriers don't even require the electronic signature at all. And uh, so- uh, A ton over the phone too. Just um, absolutely, yeah. Now, a lot of these I'm referring to here are, they're warm, you know, they're, they're referrals, uh, they're existing clients, uh, the majority of referrals, you know, and or existing clients, so. And so that, I mean, that obviously that makes the call so much easier, but when you get on, um, you, your majority is, what would you say percentage wise on your business is 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 face-to-face -face versus phone? Uh, how much, what percentage is phone? Probably 75% is phone, okay. something like that. And we had a lot respond to a question earlier in chat about, um, there was a lot that had, um, that, that would say majority on this are selling 100% over the phone. Yeah. Phones become a big thing uh, and it's going to become, it's going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Uh, I still love the face to face. And so yeah. I always give the, op the client the option, you know, do you want to do this on phone? Do you want to do it in person? And uh, if they want to do it in person, I absolutely love that. And, you know, and I always, you know, uh, encourage the, the beating at my office. Uh, yes. I don't want to go out in the field no more than I have to. And I still do it. Uh, and I went out in the field about a month ago and, but when I went, uh, now the clients came to my office. The first point was at the client's house, uh, but I knew it was going to be a, a, a monster sale. Yep. And, uh, and then the second point we did enrollments, we did it at my office. So mm. that's awesome. Okay, that's good. Um, what questions do you guys have? Brian Thompson said, pay attention to this guy. One of the smartest guys I've ever talked to. That's cool. That's awesome. I appreciate that. Nice of you, buddy. Um, what, what's some questions we have that, that, that he can answer as we take kind of pause and do, um, some Q and A, okay, in in relation to um, talking to someone and getting them to enroll. Um, when you're selling, how many options are you giving them? So what I do is, like, when we pull up, you know, the because I do a lot of terms, GOLs, IULs, you know, uh, all the different carrier products, uh, and it's coming up with you know, 20, 25, 30 different carriers in every scenario. I'm not showing them 25, 30 different carriers. I'm typically, if there's if there's a term Excel, you know, accelerated, yeah. not, not just term Excel, I'm sorry, just accelerated underwriting available, I'm typically choosing that uh, option, unless it's so much higher than the fully underwritten option. Uh, Cause I, I want the simple, as much simplicity that I can get to make the process easy for the, for the clients as I possibly can get. And uh, so, uh, I'm typically choosing that and, 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 you know, I've had those cases issue, you know, just a day or two. So gotcha. Okay. Um, do you also use zoom for meetings? What's up, Michael? I do. Absolutely. And that's a great question. Uh, Cause so when I meet with a client, I'll ask the client, you know, we can just talk with the phone or I can do a screen share. And, uh, and so, uh, and, and probably about, 60% just say, let's just talk, 40% uh, say screen share, something of that nature, uh, somewhere, somewhere close to that number. Uh, and one of the things, I, I'll give you a quick uh, closing idea, and, and y'all, I'm sure most of y'all have done this in the past, but I'm gonna give you a quick closing idea. Let's just say you got a person with some health issues, and uh, you know, you've got, and, and, and a lot of, you know, a lot of Americans do have some type of health issues. I always tell the clients, I, and, and I do this every single time and it works well over 90% of the time. And we write the case on that, you know, that time. And then we place over 90% of that business. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll say, Hey, Mr. Mr. Prospect today, I'm giving you quotes that, you know, I think are as accurate as, as I possibly can give based on the information, but obviously the carrier's going to do that. They're underwriting. They're going to check the MIB, which is the medical information bureau. They're going to check the pharmaceutical uh, prescription RX check, you know, and they're going to do their due diligence. Uh, they may order medical records. Uh, they may order paramed. And so, you know, we can guess all day long on what rating you're going to be, whether that is, 
you know, standard or you're going to be rated up or, or whatever the, the situation is. I personally think you'll come out at standard. So why don't we do this? If you're okay with this, here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to, let's go ahead and apply for the life insurance at standard, which is probably going to be the best case scenario. Let's see what comes back. And, uh, and if the client says, you know, and if the, if the client was trying to kind of between whether they want 250 or 500, let's just go ahead and apply for 500 because we can easily back down to 250 if needed. Let's get the rating. After we get the, mm. if we get all the underwriting done, we'll go come back to the table or come back to the, you know, in a meeting. And then I'm going to be able to give you exactly what, what the offer is. And uh, we think this could be standard. It come, could come back at table two and to where maybe 250 is, is the right number. But if it comes back at, maybe it could come back at standard plus and to where, you know, you can get 500,000, you know, for, uh, you know, maybe that may be your situation. So let's apply for the coverage. Let's see what happens. And then we'll come back to the table and, and finalize the selections. But let's get the approval. And we won't have the policy issued after the approval. We're going to go through the, we're going to come back to the table and you and I are going, I'm going to, you're going to look at exact numbers instead of kind of like the guessing game we're doing today. Yeah. It's more of an underwriting approach. Absolutely. And I, that's the approach I use a lot. And uh, it works almost every single time. It's very non threatening. Absolutely. It is an aggressive. Um, it, it, but also gets people to at least like take action in some way. And then, and, and, and if they're serious, they're going to, they're going to stick with it and do it anyway. And what I love about that approach too, is this, it kind of doesn't put you in a trap or a box to where, you know, cause if you write somebody to preferred best and they come back at standard, that's a big rate, you know, cause I'm telling them, Hey, this is what I'm guessing. This is what I think, but let's, let's go through the underwriting process and let's get it firm. You know, let's yes. get it firm because you know, you may come back with a different rating than what we're projecting today. And so it kind of leaves a little lead way. And so if it does come back at table two, you know, if you submit a standard as an example, then you come back and say, you know, we hope for a standard, but remember we talked about it could come back at table two, it did. And uh, so here are the offers. So, mm. And then you give like the initial one and then a couple lower. Absolutely. And okay. so what I'm doing is, is uh, at that time, uh, I'm giving a couple of different options. So, and, and I, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you another trick at selling, so, and I'll just use term life insurance as my example here. So let's just say you do a 20 year term and you apply for it at preferred best and they come back at standard plus, okay, due to whatever. Uh, and you've applied for a 20 year term, you could easily back that down to a 15 year term and be pretty similar to the same rate as they were on the 20 year term. And so when you apply for the longer term periods, it leaves you a little more lead way to get back to the premium that they're looking for. Uh, if you apply for 500, maybe 350 is the number that gets them to the number that they're, that the budget they were looking for. And so, cause I'll, I'll say, you know, Mr. Ms. Jones, you know, we applied for 500,000, the premium is going to be a hundred dollars a month, but uh, you know, we applied for standard plus, she came back at standard. So instead of a hundred dollars a month, it's 120. But if you want to stay at the hundred dollars a month, we can, you know, lower the insurance from 500 down to 400, or we can lower the, the years from 25 years down to 20 years or whatever the scenario may be. You can run up. It, it leaves you a lot of flexibility. It just, it does nothing more than it allows you to, uh, to uh, uh, continue to, 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 to close a sale. It gives you more opportunities. Mm -hmm. So uh, Jeff says, so what is the quote engine and where is it? Uh, we use a, a quote engine that's uh, I pipeline. And, uh, and it's through, uh, we have one. So, uh, and for all the agents who have their contracts through us, uh, they have access to it. And, and what I absolutely love about it, we just recently added, uh, and this has been just an absolute game changer for me. We've recently added IULs, not only mm -hmm. the accumulation, but the protection IULs on, on the quote engine. Oh. We can run the proposals on the quote engine now. We can do the enrollments on the quote engine now. We can run the GUL, we can run the, uh, the uh, the accumulation ULs, we can, uh, the, anything that you want to run on the permanent product side, we can now do it from our quote engines and do the enrollment from our quote engines because we're totally, not that we're getting away from paper, paper is still an option, but if you want to be paperless, you can do so. Okay. And which is, which is huge. And Kimberly, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's through iPipeline. Um, I know that it like is interweaved in our site and stuff. It so is, I'm not yeah. really sure exactly, but, but it, it works uh, yeah. well. Um, works extremely well. Rudolph's, Rudolph says, how many carriers and do you show the prospect? He said, I typically show three carriers for each term period. Do you show different carriers or just different? What I'm doing is, is 
I go through and I do, we have two different options. We can do a comparison ledger or we can do uh, the, uh, the list report. So the comparison ledger is to where they're all gonna be vertical and to where, let's just say I'm doing a, I'm showing 250, 500 and a million, I'm, yeah. uh, this, those three amounts. And I'm showing 10 to 30 year turn 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30. I'm choosing the carrier I want them to see on the 10 year, the carrier I want to see on the 15, the 20, the 25 and 30 for each amount. And that way they're seeing 15 carriers and uh, but there's so but but across one line, this is 250, and these are the, the 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 year terms. This is the uh, fifth, you know, the uh, the 500,000, and then the five year, you know, the five level terms. Or we can do what they call list report, which is the exact same thing, except uh, it runs it it runs it uh, or you know uh, uh, downward vertically down uh, instead of across, uh, and so. Uh, it's just way way you want to run the proposal, but uh, I love giving the client some options because, and I love always making sure I quote more than the client actually asked for because a lot of times it's much more competitive rate than what they were anticipating, and I never want to shortchange my you know my sell and and you know and, and I want to make sure that you know obviously I've I've been doing this for selling life insurance for over thirty one years now and I've never met a person that uh, has ever told me that's too much life insurance. I mean, there's nobody that has ever received a, a, a life insurance debt benefit check and said, um, too much, take it back, <laughs> right? Too much, take it back, okay? Uh, this is, it, how, how good is this information, by the way, okay? From someone that's written, how, how many apps do you think you've written this week or how much business? And, and while you're still also owning and running a big insurance agency with a thousand agents too, but you uh, produce a lot. I do produce a lot. Uh, I, uh, I delivered yesterday, I delivered two life cases that we just got approved and the premium uh, on those two was about 16,000 annually. Uh, I wrote a $6,000 annual life case this morning uh, at eight o'clock. Uh, and uh, so- Horrible, <laughs> horrible. I've got right now uh, about 135,000 in pending right now of, of annual premium in, in pending right now. So. That's awesome. Dang. that's big it's big time uh what's your best brian thompson from iowa what's your best line for asking those people for referrals uh i'll tell you what referrals is probably the easiest people always ask i mean i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell a quick little story of us and then i'll answer that question people ask me you know what drives you you know a lot of times mm. money drives people okay yep. money drives people sometimes it's you know incentives trips and those type of things drive people Mine's totally different. What drives me is referrals. That is 100% what drives me. And here's the reason why referrals drives me is because I know if I get a referral, that's a recommendation of the job I've done. And so I, I judge everything I do on whether I got a referral from that client or not. I never even ask for referrals. I never ask. I simply, I go above and beyond uh, I make sure I, I'm not pushing the sales in the sales call whatsoever. Uh, I just, I educate them uh, and I, I do, you know, I, I make sure all the questions are answered, make sure they're com extremely comfortable with the, with the situ, you know, with, with what we're doing. Uh, I mean, I just absolutely go above and beyond, but, uh, but as far as what, uh, what questions I ask, I really don't ask a lot. The only way out, on the way out the door, I'll just tell them, you know, if you ever have any family, friends, or somebody you know that could use my services, you know, I'd love the opportunity. And that is my referral pitch mm. on the way out the door. That's and, awesome. uh, uh, but I literally get uh, well, well, well in excess of, it's got to be at least, at least, I don't know, 150, 200 referrals a year at a minimum, and probably more than that. 15, 20 a month. Yeah, it's at least that amount. It's pretty salty. Okay, uh, let's do last question if there is one, because I know you have a nudity appointment in eight minutes. I want to be respectful. Yeah. We'll get you out of here in the next one to three minutes for sure. Um, do you put your business card? I'll come back to your question, Dexter, by the way. Uh, do you put, because I know he doesn't work live transfers. Do you put your business card in, in, in the thank you card to a new customer or in their birthday card? I do both actually. And so one thing I said, I do both. We just actually changed our birthday things here. I'm going to tell you something we just changed is, and I absolutely love it. I think it's even better than what we've done in the past. Uh, we, when we make a sale, we send out a, uh, an email to the client. We make sure we get everyone's email 
and just thank him for their sale and ask him to leave us a review. Okay. Uh, and uh, so, and this, and they were also putting a product and resume sheet. They just saw the product and resume sheet at the time of sale. And, but they're going to see it again in the email. I want them to know all the different product and services we offer. So one thing we did on the birthday, and I'm telling you, this works, it works, it works. Instead of sending out birthday cards, which a lot of people do, birthday cards, they're kind of impersonable, you know, because it's a, it's a pre-written birthday card that just somebody probably stamped your signature on. OK, yeah. so it's 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 nice. I'm not saying it's not nice, but it's it's not not personal. So what I do is I've got one of my staff members. She calls every single client of mine on the date of their birthday, unless mm. their birthday is on Saturday or Sunday. She'll call them on Friday. So everybody this weekend, she called on, on Friday. She personally calls every one of them and she wishes them a happy birthday on behalf of Brian Askins and Secure Insurance Group. And awesome. just wanted to tell them we hope that she, they have a tremendous birthday. And uh, that's really cool. And that is it, that, it works. And you want to talk about people, you know, it, it gives them another chance to hear from from you, yeah. from your company, from from, you know, from your staff. And I always want my staff doing it just because it makes me look bigger. It makes me look like I'm not a one man show, which I'm, I'm not. But, it, you know, it proves that I'm not a one man show to the client. And so it helps too. I'm telling you that is relationship building and nobody's doing that. Boom. I love that. Um, if they have questions uh, in relation to anything you've said, where should we have them email? You think Dallas or? Uh, they can email me or Dallas, either one. You can put both of them in there. And, okay. But I'd be glad to answer any questions you have. And if anybody wants to call me and, and just kind of uh, talk about referrals, talk about, uh, uh, you know, just, just anything whatsoever, I'd be glad to help you when I can. So. Okay, I just put his email in chat, brian.askinsecurity.g. Anything you want to add before we close you? Can, any other questions I didn't catch? I um, did one more request. No, nah, you're good. So, that was it. That was it. But yeah, try that. Uh, try that with the with the live call uh, on their birthday, because I'm telling you that'll build the relationships, uh, and it's it's huge. So, well, thank you all very much. We appreciate it. If we can ever help you, we'd love the opportunity. So. Boom. Okay, great, Dad. That's what Tom said. Thank you, buddy. Okay, thank you all very much. My father, Brian Askins. I love it. Okay, how good was that? Was that good or was that good? Thank you very much. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one. You're gonna love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Yeah, talk about schedule, because you've mentioned that multiple times. You, that's a big part of your uh, week and what you do. You're really organized. I'm actually not that organized, so I'm really impressed that you are. Oh my gosh, I will give you a schedule that will change your entire, everybody, everybody. It's a 25.